opus. It's a unique word, isn't it? So I was a pastor at the time, and uh, I guess you can say I had to close shop. That was a, an end of end of a chapter, turning the next page into a new one. And while I was in church, I had a visiting preacher come in, and uh, he basically called my wife and I to the front. He said, you do that rap thing, right? Yeah. And I said, yeah, I do that rap thing. He said, God dropped a word into his mind for me. And that word was opus. He said, okay, what does that mean? Let me find out what it means. It basically means a work of art or a piece of a puzzle. Basically, he was saying that it's not over yet. God's not finished. It's all part of his plan. And this is what inspired me to title this EP that I released, Opus. And for me, Opus, with this particular project that I've just finished, is a compilation of songs that I've made, piecing up things together. And I do plan to create another project called Opus, Volume 2. And so I guess you can say God's not finished with me. And this is a new chapter to use my music to reach out to others. And I, and I, said, to, I said this to myself and I'll say it again. If my life is able to impact at least one person, it'll all be worth it. And obviously it's not music that can save people, it's God. God can change lives. Jesus is the one that saves. And I guess you can say I want him to use my avenue of music that God can use so he can save lives, so he can touch lives and influence others to be moved, to move. So this first song, The 27 Club. So I wrote this at the age of 27 and a good friend of mine influenced me, helped me to be there to be the man that I am today, who discipled me, took me under his wing, he decided to leave. He decided to leave due to some conflicts with other people, or with leadership. And it's a very dangerous thing. And as sad as it was to see him leave, it inspired me to write this song. And I wrote it in a way, not to be specific, but so that it would apply to others who would leave as a way of encouragement and also as a way of admonishment to bring them back in hopes that they would come to their senses and be brought back. And that's why I called it the 27 Club. So even the first, first bit of lyrics, Hendrix, Winehouse, Morrison, Gabane, drugs and alcohol was a thing to kill the pain, mixed with suicide was the thought to kill the brain. They got no one else but themselves to blame. Sometimes we can blame others. <laughs> and even myself, I can blame others because of my own wrongdoing, because of my own reactions to, to, to things I cannot control. What we can do, what we should do, is just to fess up, be accountable, move on, and endeavor to be in the mainstream of, of the will of God for our lives. Basically, it is safe to be in the will of God. The next song, One Man Should Die. I made this song in a way that you can get samples from Logic and make a dope song, and make something that would be catchy. I was inspired by a sermon that I heard, and the headline scripture was, it is expedient that one man should die for the whole nation, and that was no doubt Jesus. So I wrote, wanted to be a bit clever and that was a song one man should die try hard i made this song using machine and after that i laid out the vocals i was inspired by people who wanted to act hard and that was me some other people think that i i am still a try hard but this is a song that you can play in your car boom and bass simple simple try melody it's more or less a diss track in a way of encouraging someone who wants to seem intimidating on, on social media or maybe even in the public eye, but yet is so insecure. That was me. And I guess you can say, I wouldn't say anything I wouldn't say to myself. I wouldn't preach anything I wouldn't preach, must preach to myself. And there's a bit of a try hard in all of us. We need to lay low. And it's just basically a stir up song to the try hard. Cross the line. Now, I had to cross the line on this one. This is, this is the song that, in my own opinion, will be the most controversial. There's some of the lyrical content in there. The thing is, I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus. And isn't that controversial already? In the world's perspective, especially with the stuff that's going on today. As a Christian, we will cross the line. The moment that we repent and believe in Jesus, like we've got a target on our back. And what are we going to do after that? Are we going to stick on the narrow path? Are we going to go back to the wide path and be the status quo and be PC? Why are we going to have the balls to stand up for what's right? And what's right? In these books, that's cross the line. We've got to cross the line in engaging with people. We're crossing the line and overstepping the boundary as we witness to people. As I myself tell someone about Jesus. As I myself stand up for what I believe in. It's better for me to cross the line and know that I'm pleasing God. That's all that matters. And by the way, I guess you could say I crossed the line in calling myself Black Moose. So my name's Blake Musa. I call myself the Black Moose. Why would you call yourself Black Moose? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. So back in first grade, um, I had a friend. We were giving each other nicknames. I gave him a nickname, which I can't remember. And he said, man, I'm going to give you a nickname. 
Black Musa. Black Musa. Dude, I'm gonna call you Black Moose. And you're probably thinking, dude, I ain't even black. But the reason why I stuck with that is, well, not only because the name stuck with me because everyone called me that, but it's an outstanding name for an Anglo Saxon name, Lebanese dude. Life was crossed the line. I'm standing up for what I believe in, and I'm rapping. Basically, my lifestyle. I've got a philosophy. Your music ought to reflect your lifestyle. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm rapping me. Rapping what I believe in. Rapping my thoughts. Rapping my struggles. That's what I do. And if I was to be PC and hold back my lyrical content, um, hold back my, my composure, my very character, then I wouldn't be Black Moose. That's who I am. And that's what you're going to get. The fifth song on the track's called TikTok. And I originally had a beat for it, but it sounded so... Um, 2013 if you'd call that. So I quickly remade the beat, made it a bit trappy, made it a bit chill back. So again, like with like with Try Hard, I'm rapping to myself in the mirror. TikTok. Procrastination's a killer. And I confess I've I've procrastinated this project and, and, and many other projects. So this is a reminder for everyone and even myself. Time's running out. Make a move. Make a move right now. And even with salvation. Even with salvation, in the Bible it says, today is the day of salvation. What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do after you've heard the gospel, after you've heard the truth? Or even as a believer now, what are you going to do with the gift that God has given you, with the, the, the responsibility of the gospel? Hey, by all means, I'm preaching to myself here. Tick tock, the time is ticking. The sixth song, it's probably got to be my favorite, or, or, or the flagship song uh, in this EP. Itigia. What does it stand for? Good question. I'm glad you asked. You're going to have to guess it. So I was inspired to write this song. I was hearing this, this term said, every, said in almost every sermon uh, for, for a period of time. And the term is, sometimes we think we have it all together. And it just dropped. I'm going to make this song. The Trap Soul beat. Make it. I think I got it all together. And that's pretty much us. The sum of us some of our lives. There'll come a point in our lives where we think we have it all together before I became a Christian. I thought I had it all together. You know, I had, a, I had a girlfriend at the time, I had a job, you know, everything was cool. I was still living in my parents' house, but I thought, everything is cool, I'm at the top of the hill. But then life happens, right? And, and then what do you do after that? You go binge on drinking and, and smoking dope and gambling. Just pain money to destroy yourself like what I did. Well, you can rely on Jesus. You can rely and, and, and put faith in God that he'll see you through. See, in the Bible it says, all things work together for the good for those who love God and who are called according to his purposes. And there's many scriptures of his promises. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord's on your side. Who, who shall you fear? You know, what can man do to you? It's basically a song you can rock to. It's a hope song basically and I you know I address my struggles I address you know my points of failures some people have a perception that you know these Christians are so perfect and you know they're so judgmental guess what real people with real problems but the game changer is we serve a real God and that's Itigia listen to that track and the final song is I was wrong or I can't believe I was wrong and I wanted to channel a, a, a conviction point in my life, a value of decision where it was a make or break for me. I heard the gospel for, for the first time in 2009 and yet I was weekly going to church services but I wasn't converted yet. I still had this religious pride in my heart that I couldn't get rid of, what I didn't want to let go of because I, I was raised up as a Catholic but yet I didn't go to church for years but yet I still held on to it. But I still went, I still continued to come to church because the love that these people had, I envied it. But something, something's gotta go. Someone's always gotta go. And I couldn't believe for 19 years living, I was wrong about, you know, my opinions, concept of God and, and eternity. That I've lived and I believed a lie. But yet that's when God's grace stepped in is willing to take me as I as I was at that time and mold and shape me. Basically a song, uh, a song, uh, basically a song of allowing God to change my life. It was a decision that I made myself. And yet 
been followed by that decision after decision after decision after failure then after the good decision good decision then more failure and so on and so forth and I'm, I'm here today I'm grateful because it's God who's going to be glorified through my life and, and through this project and, and many projects to come and that was the Opus EP you can listen to it now on Spotify Apple Music iTunes YouTube Music SoundCloud Shazam follow me at The Real Black Moose on FB and IG. Peace. God bless.